Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, it's Thanksgiving Palooza. We prepare Susie's Kentucky Derby Pie, smashed potatoes, carrot soup with coconut milk, and farro and wild rice salad. But let's start with the turkey breast. Well, this is going to be a really busy show. It is the Thanksgiving episode, and I have been cooking and trying all these recipes and really getting prepared for this segment. Oh boy, this kitchen is going to be a nightmare. But right now, you don't know that. It's all clean and very pristine. And I'm gonna have a special guest. Susie White is going to come in a little bit later on and make her Kentucky Derby pie. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. It'll be a nice alternative to the pumpkin pie for dessert. I've got a uh, farro wild rice salad I'm going to be making, my garlic mashed potatoes, and I'm going to be making a ginger carrot soup, which will be a really nice starter for the meal. Now, I am a big fan of the dark meat, but almost every time I have Thanksgiving, there's never enough breast. So, I am going to cook a turkey breast for those that are having a smaller get-together or that needs the additional white meat. And um, this is going to be the star of the show. Usually, turkey breasts tend to cook dry, and I think I have solved that problem by draping it with bacon. For this recipe, you'll need one six to seven pound bone-in turkey breast, one stick of unsalted butter softened, one quarter cup of chopped sage leaves, zest from one lemon, one teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of ground pepper, and eight slices of good quality bacon. So I really had to familiarize myself with turkey breasts. And boy, I'll tell you, poultry really is kind of a ugly thing to work with. So we have the breast. This is about seven pounds, and I rinsed it really well and the inner cavity and dried it with a paper towel. Now I'm gonna pick this big flap of skin up that goes towards the neck, and what you wanna do is open up this area between the skin and the breast, and you wanna be careful not to tear it. And that is where the handy dandy spoon comes in. You get a teaspoon and you really can kind of lift it and get into that area without tearing it. Now, I made sure my butter is super soft. I even zapped it in the microwave for about 20 seconds just to make sure it's really soft. So finally chop your sage leaves, add that to the butter. Also throw in the lemon zest. This really is a nice brightening agent for that. And eh, about a teaspoon of salt, okay? And that's good. And then about a half a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Now I'm just going to mash this all together. See, because the softer the butter, the easier it'll be to spread it between the breast and the skin. And now we start the dirty job. And that is taking this in, going underneath, and we're just going to put this all throughout the top of the breast. And it is a bit messy, but after we get it all in there, we'll even it out from the outside. But you just wanna make sure it gets in there. So this will take a couple of minutes. So now the turkey is all prepped. We've got the butter massaged throughout. You can see it's uh, lining between the breast and the skin. And now for my bacon lattice. This is going to be a beautiful presentation when it's done. So you lay your bacon down on a board. And so right now we have it going up and down. Then we make a lattice. So every other strip, see, like that. 
and then we'll go the opposite way. Four and four, that's all you need because the breasts really aren't that big. So we put it underneath, see? And this makes a really tight seal when you go and put it over the bird. And now we just lift this all up. Da, 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 oh. One little piece fell, don't worry. And then you just drape it just like that over it. See? You don't have to adhere it with toothpicks or anything because once it starts cooking and browning, it just shapes and takes the form of the turkey breast. Now I preheated the oven to 425. It will go in for one half hour and then we'll reduce it to 375 and it will cook for one additional hour and the bird's done. It'll be right there at 155, 160. So let's get this in the oven. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Well, autumn is in the air, and I am here with Rue, the dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. And man, this is one of my favorite seasons, and you guys have got it going on. Yes, we do. You know, when the seasons change, so does our menu change. So these are some of our new menu options we have here. These are our flatbreads. Uh, this is actually our smoked kibasi sandwich with some kibasi from Lightners and yeah. Struthers, uh, pierogies from the pierogi lady. <laughs> and then this is our caddy mac and cheese over here. Uh, so just some new items here, some new drink menu items for the fall to keep you warm uh, during the cold days. And we've got these huge screens. You've really expanded your coverage. Yes, yes. We added about five 70-inch TVs. We got the NFL Sunday ticket. So we'll have every game, Buckeyes, Browns, everything. I'll tell you, this is your fall headquarters. Come on down to the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. r and Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at r and Paint. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wilm is your full-service, independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Woolham. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolham, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Every year, at the same time, the air gets a little colder, the faces get a little warmer, and family gets a little closer. Everything seems to slow down, and what matters most is suddenly much easier to see. Pioneer Trails Tree Farm, providing farm fresh Christmas trees for over 30 years. Continue your family tradition at Pioneer Trails Tree Farm. Now this dish can be prepared ahead of time and refrigerated or served at room temperature. And I'm going to say this is an homage to my friend Jill. Remember earlier we made the farro salad together? Well, ever since I've been obsessed with farro. I really like the nuttiness of the grain and I found this recipe. It has wild rice. Mm, this is so chewy and nutty. It really works well with the farro. And we're going to put in some dried cranberries, some uh, chopped green onion, and then as a little pop, 
I squeezed tangerine juice. But if you want, you could just use regular orange juice. But this is a very easy recipe, and it's really tasty, really filling, and I think it'll be really a pretty presentation on your Thanksgiving table. For this recipe, you'll need four sprigs of fresh thyme, four cups of vegetable stock, one cup of wild rice rinsed, one cup of farro rinsed, one third cup of orange juice, one half cup of extra virgin olive oil, four green onions, white and green parts, chopped fine, one third cup of dried cranberries chopped, and salt and pepper to taste. The farro and the wild rice both take about 40 to 45 minutes on the stove. So we'll just prepare this now. It is going to be two cups of the vegetable stock, and then the fresh thyme, you can always add more. And then you'll need an additional cup of water for the rice, okay? And we'll put this on the stove until it comes to a boil, and then we'll add the rice, cover it, and simmer for about 45 minutes. Now the farro boils, as the water does. So this will be two more cups of broth. You're gonna use your saucepans on this recipe. And then it will be a cup and a half of water because it needs a little bit more. Let's see how I did, I don't have my glasses on. Okay, I am out a little short there. So we're gonna do a cup and a half of water. There we go. We'll throw in the rest of the time and then we will add We'll put this on the stove, I'm making a mess here, and we'll bring this to a boil and then reduce it, but this also takes about 45 minutes. All right, so the farro, farro, and the wild rice, cooked and brought to room temperature. Want to make sure it's nice and cool, so we've mixed that together. Look how beautiful that is. Now we have our tangerine juice, but you could use orange juice. But I went that little extra mile because it is Thanksgiving, and I'm going to make the dressing. I'm going to just add the olive oil, and then a little bit of salt, a couple grinds of pepper, and we are going to just mix this and get a nice dressing. So I'll pour that in. Mm -mm -mm. Now, you know what would also be good with this? orange sections, uh, fresh pineapple chopped up. Um, now we'll add the onion and we'll wait for the uh, chopped dried cranberries and we'll do that at the very top as a garnish. And then we just, oh my goodness. You can always add more of these too because I probably ate half of these already while they were sitting on the counter. And that's it. That is our wild rice and farro salad. Now this is a great make-ahead dish. Keep this in the fridge and just throw it on the stove right before your guests arrive. It is my carrot soup with ginger and coconut milk. I do not want everyone on Thanksgiving to show up at my house and fill up on snacks, the cheese, the crackers, the nuts, and all that stuff because of course everyone's starving to eat Thanksgiving dinner. So even if you don't serve this as your first course, it's a nice thing to hand them a mug and they can have this nice, warm, filling soup and then they'll be ready to move on to the meal. For this recipe, you'll need five tablespoons of unsalted butter, one medium onion chopped, one shallot chopped, one and a half pounds of carrots peeled and sliced, two teaspoons of ginger peeled and grated, one teaspoon of cumin, turmeric, and coriander, and one quarter teaspoon of cayenne, four cups of chicken stock, one 14 ounce can of unsweetened coconut milk, one lime zested and juice, and chopped cilantro for garnish. Now this is really easy. It's really a one pot meal. After you chopped all these vegetables, now we're gonna start with the onion, add that to the melted butter. The five tablespoons have already melted nicely. I like shallot because it's not as strong as garlic, but it's pretty close. So the shallot is chopped, and now we're just going to coat them with butter. Now we're going to add the carrots. That's a lot of carrots. But this soup is such a pretty orange, you're gonna really like it for Thanksgiving. We're going to add the cayenne. 
And we're going to add the cumin and the coriander and the turmeric. I love the, the spices. I love Indian food. I love Indian spices and the ginger. This adds such a freshness to this dish. You are gonna love it. It's been about 15 minutes. This smells amazing and everything is softening nicely. So what we're gonna do is add our four cups of stock. That's one box. Now what we're gonna do is turn this heat back up to high and we're gonna bring it to a boil and then let it simmer for about 20 more minutes. Everything has softened up super nicely. It smells so good in here. So now what I'm gonna do is just turn this off and instead of you go into the blender or whatever, or food processor, if you have an immersion blender, please use it. And we're just going to stick this in and make sure that we smooth the soup completely. So now this is all broken down and the carrots are all pureed. And it really looks beautiful, but it's time for the coconut milk. And this gives it another dimension of flavor. It is really good. And we'll just pour this in, make sure it's unsweetened, and then we'll just mix this further, warm it through, and the soup is done. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. From moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley Zone Pebblestone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. was always in my corner. Always pushing me to do better. I couldn't have asked for a better mother. So when she needed assisted living, I did my research. Doctors, nurses, and others with family and assisted living, they all said, trust the name you know. Briarfield. For assisted living with top health care experts, a caring staff, and a comfortable home-like setting, trust the name you know. Briarfield. Trust the name you know. Briarfield. Proudly serving the Valley for over 20 years. 
selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge on taping because they're going to wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not going to wear it forever, they're going to pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime, and we want to make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. Now this dish is very, very easy. I did not even peel the potatoes. If you use a Yukon Gold, or if you use, you know, a russet. A russet, or the just, little reds. Make sure you scrub them really well and just chop them because it's actually healthier. Oh, it is. This if you is leave good. the jackets on the praties. That's the most. So this has really got a lot of iron in it. Yes. Uh, so this is about three or four pounds and I'm gonna make them garlic mashed. I'm not even baking the garlic first. What I'm going to do is add seven cloves of garlic to the water when I boil the potatoes. And that's it. So when I go to smash them, it'll smash it'll right in with right. the potatoes yeah. and the water will kind of absorb some of that garlic flavor. For this recipe, you'll need three or four pounds of Yukon Gold or russet potatoes scrubbed and cut into chunks, seven to eight cloves of garlic, one cup of buttermilk, six tablespoons of unsalted butter, and salt and pepper to taste. So I've got a pot of water on the stove, uh, added a little bit of salt to it. It'll be about 20 minutes once it comes to a boil till they're fork tender. Mm -hmm. You want to throw those on? I certainly do. All right. Easy peasy. And don't forget to add the garlic. All right, so the potatoes with the garlic have been boiled about 20 minutes. And Jelaine, you are just doing a wonderful job. Oh, yes. Look at you mashing it up. I heated this cup of uh, buttermilk. Butter. You want me to just pour it in? Yep. Yep. And then we'll go like that. And I think buttermilk has a tang and it really works well with mashed potatoes. I remember we always had buttermilk in the house growing up. More butter. I mean, it is Thanksgiving. We're grateful for butter. I love butter. Oh, I do too. Don't waste your time with that non -butter. Well, they tell you it's better for you in moderation. That's right, in moderation. And then I'm gonna throw in a little bit of salt. Not too much, because you can always pass it at the table. And then a little bit of ground pepper mop. There you go. Okay. You're gonna taste it. What do you think? Perfect. Well, we saved the best recipe for last. <laughs> and this is Susie White. She is an amazing, amazing cook. And we all got together during a Kentucky Derby. Oh, well, yeah. And she went to University of Kentucky, so she does know a thing or two about the Derby. And you made this pie that is so delicious. It's chocolate with pecans. And I mean, I have been thinking about that. Now that's been since May. Right, the first weekend and in May. Is that the first time you made that pie? No, it was not. I, I think I made it a few times when we lived in Kentucky, a few years back. I loved it. For this recipe, you'll need one pre-made pie crust, one cup of sugar, one stick unsalted butter melted, six tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two large eggs beaten, one ounce of bourbon, one cup of pecans, and one cup of semi-sweet chocolate morsels. This is my break time. Susie's here to do a little of the work. Okay. And you don't even need a mixer for this. You don't. All you need is a trusty whisk. Okay, so how do we assemble this? All right, first thing you put in is your sugar, and you will then mix it with flour. All right. So our dry ingredients first. Yep, just give it a good mix. Okay. And then you're going to add the melted butter. Would you like me to do that yes, for you? Yes, thank you, as I'm mixing. Okay. Okay, kind of gets a little bit um, like a ball of dough. Well, I was surprised that you don't even have to melt the chips. Right, right. You know, I was thinking you'd need like a, a double boiler yeah. and you'd have uh, to do that. So you no, know. the chips as well as the pecans are kind of like your last minute additions as well as the bourbon. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this is the, the good stuff in the middle. This is like the goo. Next. Now I think, you know. It's the bourbon. Bleh, one for us, one for, <laughs> one for the pie. <laughs> it's generally an ounce you of know, bourbon. But a so whatever you like, whatever you like more or less. 
Oh, it's a nice addition. The presentation go in so easily. Last. Yeah, and you don't you chop them lightly, but you still want them pretty big. You want some big ones. I I um, prefer to chop just a little bit to make sure that there's like pecan in every bite. Yeah. So we dump that in. Yes. You don't want to overwork the batter, right? The batter, no. Mm -mm. It's a very easy pie to bake. I cannot believe this. I'm shocked. Now we preheated the oven to 350. Correct. We're going to put it on a cookie sheet and 55, should we start checking it? It says yeah. 55 to 60 minutes. I always check at the beginning of the time. If you need to add more, it's way easier to do that than take away. Okay, middle rack. Yeah. Well, Susie, I mean, you made a lovely gravy from the pan drippings because I did not have the energy. And I'm really, thank you guys all for coming to my early um, Thanksgiving. <laughs> and our special guest is Sunny. Sunny, do you have a special, um, uh, do you have a special toast? Okay, what is it? Blue, blue, blue. Blue. That's a good toast. How about this one? Thank you. I'm going to say, here's to us, none better. Aww. All right. Aww. Happy Cheers. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.